That looks like a good spot. Pick your weapons. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> No fighting over the snow, there's enough for everyone. Because snow is an amazing material, as it forms in the atmosphere and falls down to accumulate here, it captures a lot of information on the particular weather of the day, of the months, the year. And as you can see, you, you see these wonderful structures here in the snow, which represent annual layers. And so by digging the snow pit, we're going back about 40, 40 odd years in time. <laughs> Done. Ooh. Must be coffee time. Coffee time. Yeah. One of the things that we measure in ice is chemistry. And we measure everything from major ions that come in almost spoonfuls of, of concentrations in the snow to very minute uh, concentrations of trace elements. To prevent the snow being contaminated, and this is certainly the cleanest water in the world, we try to make ourselves as clean as possible. <laughs> At the end of the day, what we are measuring are just parameters in the snow. It's chemistry, it's isotopes, and to understand how the you know, climate um, record is preserved in the snow, we need to have some time of overlap where we can see what the weather did and what the snow tells us about the weather. We use then this knowledge to go back further in time with the ice core records where we go back many thousands of years, but where we don't have the luxury, of course, of having meteorological observations.